What is up guys, it's Mike it's Mimo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to episode 5 part 2 where we're gonna undertake the trial of fire and become a monarch of fire mage. Um, in this particular episode I will also try to explain a bit that's totally um, obvious. Why, in my opinion, the fire magician I've got no is time for things like that. Um, the path of Baliar, not the path of Who Enos. But uh, it's nearly 3 a.m., so I'm gonna change. keep my voice, at least try to, a bit down, even though it's weekends, you know. Um, so I will try to I keep my voice a myself. bit down, but it will not stop me from continuing you nonetheless. Know what I think. Now, before I'm gonna start explaining, let no me secret. go into the library, get the Anything's possible. book in order to get an undertaken file. I'm staying I don't really have to read it. I only have to read it to get the quest availability, you know. But uh, as soon as the trial begins, I will explain. Hey! I am Master Highglass, guardian of the fire and keeper of the knowledge. So Master Parlin has given you permission to study the scriptures. Then it's up to you now to do exactly that. Study, so that you may find enlightenment in the scriptures. What are you studying, Master? My research focuses on fire, the power of Enos. It is his gift and at the same time a mighty weapon, and I create runes which contain his power. Very enlightening. Can you teach me that? It is Enos who grants the magic. Only to his servants, the magicians of fire, is it given to learn how to wield this power. Alright, so let's talk with this guy over here. Hey! What can I do for you, novice? I've come to read the scriptures. I understand. If you can ever make some time between your tedious studies, come to me. There is yet another matter for which I could use a discreet novice. You have an assignment for me? Yes. It's about this crazy Ignaz. He lives in Corinus and experiments with various potions and healing drafts, but also magic spells. And that's exactly what worries me. I ask myself if his magic is pleasing to Inos. In order to test this, I need some of his spell scrolls. I want you to go into the city and obtain three of his spell scrolls for me, but not a word to anyone. Is that clear? Sure. Here are 150 gold pieces. That should cover your expenses. What exactly is your job? It is my responsibility to train mages in the art of spherical manifestation. What does that mean? Well, I teach them how to summon creatures or beings from other states or spheres. This is usually called summoning, although this expression alone is insufficient for the art of calling a servant. Furthermore, I own some interesting spell scrolls which Gorax does not have. But I only make them available to members of the Order. Now there are only two types of mages that could actually use summon magic. I first thought that there was only one which was Baliar. But uh, in Gothic 3, Path of Adenos, I detected that I was totally wrong. The Goblin is apparently Adenos, and the Golem is apparently Adenos. But the Skeletons, the Demons, are Baliar, obviously. Now, since I have the quest, let me explain a bit. <laughs> this game in particular has three individual paths, and the way I look at it is the way, the reason why the developers created the three paths was due to the three gods within the game. Enos, Adonos, and Baliar. Enos is the oldest, Adonos is the youngest, and Baliar is the brother of the Enos, you know. Second of all, due to circum circumstances, just at the fact that you join the player, join the monastery, it summons a black wolf in order for you to slay, which is in my opinion an omen that, you know, the servant of Baliar has infiltrated, if you will, the Monastery of the Magicians of Fire. Another reason is 
these mages are not only, you know, dedicated to the power of Enos. Some mages are, like High Glass, he only has the power of fire, you know, which is true Enos magic. However, Karas has summoning capabilities, both of Beliar and Adonis. Um, this guy over here, Marduk, has the Nobody power of Adonis and Beliar with Ice Arrow and That's totally Lightning. Obvious. And the no trial, this whole trial thing, is also you know. working against Enos. Because here's the thing. I couldn't care less. As soon as the trial begins, which is in a bit, have to ask me that. there are certain novices slash people chosen by Enos. Well, actually, the fire magicians, but, you know, to undertake the trial. The player is not one of those people. That's just what I said. But, since it's my duty to become a fire magician in order to advance into the next chapter, blah de blah de blah I have to decree an old way of, you know, getting and well, getting the approval to try the trial of Enos, also known as the test of fire. By doing so, however, it will get me a quest where, which the other novices do not have, in order to complete, you know, the full trial of the person that wants to invoke the old laws in order to become a fire magician even though he has not been chosen by Enos or by the fire magicians, you know. This particular quest will summon a golem which is impossible to defeat with any magic, with any weapon except for one, which is the hammer of Enos. The only way to get the hammer of Enos is to put the god into sleep uh, or knock him down if you will and get and steal the hammer of Enos which is again in my opinion one of the reasons why this path is you know not really Enos but barely art because Enos is against stealing as a servant of Enos you cannot steal and that's why only those that invoke the all you know, they invoke the old ways will be able to get that particular quest in order to defeat the stone golem to prove their worth because the stone sentinel is immortal to all magic is immortal to all weapons except for hammer you know, except for the hammer of the Enos which means I have to steal it which I will do, of course another reason is why you know, would like the fire way. mages be the chosen of Enos? Is the paladins to are also supposed to be the chosen Could of Enos? And you know, if you would say that, that the paladin is Beliar, then why does Beliar, the paladin in this case, you know, have holy out. magic? It wouldn't make sense that the servant of Beliar that would have holy magic. Holy magic no is the holy like attributes that. of Enos. Holy arrow, light, you know, all powers of Enos. That. So that's another reason why, you in my opinion, the path to Baliar is actually the fire mage. And uh, many, many more. Those are you, all know. Just rumors. you can only learn summoning change. the undead through Pyrocar. You can only learn um, certain capabilities. Uh, I'm totally lost at that point. <laughs> but, you know, technically speaking, the path of Beliar wouldn't make sense as a servant of, well, as a paladin. Mercenary, possible, you know. But. Why would really the, serve the mercenary would come, you know, the bad guy? Then who's gonna be Adonis? Well, had to have this guy or later. could be, could be. You don't have to ask me that. In that particular option, you do have the option to take this that one, for example, true. as a mage of Adonis. No one must violate the divine order. However, only as a mercenary can you become a water mage, thus 
I had no other choice totally obvious. to get that one as a servant. Tell me that isn't true. Of Adenos, you know, the mercenary. That's just what I said. Which let the paladin and the fire mage okay. open. Since paladin used holy magic ever and would me. make sense for Baliar's servant to use holy magic, I had no choice but to remove the I paladin to the, the servant of Enos and thus the servant of Baliar remains, which is the again. fire magician. Um, now, I could be wrong, you know, um, but this is my personal perspective. I, I joined the water mage and the fire good. magician out of the blue, a black that. wolf appears, not a walk, just Anything's a possible. wolf with a bit of a dark skin, which that should be no big deal. viewed upon as an omen, you know, That's if you will, especially by uh, these believing nutcases. Tell me that isn't true. That's nothing new. Second reason, yeah, you know, I and not chosen by Enos nor the fire mages to undertake the trial I demanded which again. is another reason why I'm not chosen of Enos and even that. though you can be a chosen of Enos in all three paths you know me don't that. get me wrong on that one um, since I'm gonna to play myself. the game on all multiple paths I look upon them on as on individual gods if you will you know the servant of Enos is the lowest in magic but the strongest no in you know combat the servant of Adenos is a bit of balance to both you know has some combat capabilities has some great knowledge you know, steals out but try to remain the balance you know try to let Enos not get the upper hand nor Baliar and then you have Baliar who are fierce in strength, at least, as It'll it's supposed change. to be told, you know, but as if are evil and dark, you know, which is also a possibility, wrong, but not always the case. Baliar magic, before. summoning the undead, doesn't actually mean that you're instantly evil, that. um, even though Do you really think? most people watch upon Baliar as evil. I don't, I myself do not see Enos evil nor good. I don't see Baliar as evil nor good. The only re, the only god in this particular game that I see as good and evil is Adenos. Because of the fact that Adenos does anything to remain, to maintain the balance between Enos, because if Enos gains the upper possible. hand, we will have no freedom whatsoever I due to so that. many rules, so many restrictions, you know, that freedom is, you know, totally destroyed. And then you have the other hand where Baliar gains the upper rules. hand, which means total loss of freedom Didn't in total chaos, murder, all that Why kind of I thing, you movie. know, bad things totally freedom which will make people that? do stupid things you, know you can't live saying. with too many rules but you cannot live with Bad none you know you do have to have rules and you no, do you have to have punishments in order to provoke I those to rules you know and really then we come to the third part where the fact that I have to steal I away with that. a hammer in order to complete the trial, in order to become a fire mage, which is again against the call of Venus. So there are multiple reasons on why I personally see this as the path of Baliar. You could see differently. Um, like I said, you know, all three gods have particular sides. All three paths have your you know, your influence into it, whether you support Enos, whether you support Baliar, whether no you support Adonis, like or none at all, you know. But, I, I believe Enos. that the developers of this game intended There's to create three, path, uh, three paths due Those to the three words. gods, you know. And despite Enos the fact which choices you make, the end result is the same. But that will be explained in the hardcore run like where you know I have to take a bit of That's all totally three honest. sides and 
put them together into one. That will never and, change. Uh, it's gonna be tricky, but you know, not impossible. That's totally obvious. So without further talking, let's invoke really the trial of the North, as they say it. I want to undergo the test of fire. So you know about? You want to pass the test of fire? Yes, I refer to the law of fire, which says... We know the law of the fire. We have also seen many novices die during the test. You ought to reconsider this decision. Yes, I have. I want the test, and I am going to pass it. If you absolutely insist, then the High Council will put you to the test. I insist on being given the test of fire. In that case, so be it. When you're ready, each magician from the High Council will give you a mission which you have to fulfill. May Enos have mercy on your soul. I am ready to face your test, Master. And only Enos alone knows whether you are going to pass it. You shall be put to the same test which is given to the chosen novices. The test of magic. You probably know that only one of the novices can pass the test. I see. Who are my competitors then? Enos, in his wisdom, has chosen three novices who are also going to be put through this test. Egon, Igaraz, and Ulf. They have already started the search. But enough of that. Hear the words of the test. Follow the signs of Enos, and bring us what the Believer finds behind the path. You are going to need this key. That is all we have to say to you. Another reason is, even when you tell the novices congratulations that they won, which is invaluable, you know, one of the novices will be there. Um, he will try to kill you in order to gain the victory. For certainty, even if you're gonna say, you know, congratulations, you won. He's gonna just gonna attack you, which is not a reason um, why it's not in Enos's name. Because Enos also despise bloodshed, even though it's going to be out self-defense. I'm ready to face your test, Master. So, you want to put yourself to the test? Only a courageous novice demands the test. But courage is not all that you need. Are you clever enough to pass the test? Are you strong enough to meet the dangers that await you? If not, you will pay for it with your life. And now hear your test. In the place of stones, seek the one who was never born. Find him who once was summoned. Overcome the one who cannot be overcome. Measure yourself against the living rock. Fight with the undying stone and destroy it. Living rock? What kind of a creature would that be? I have told you everything. Or do you find this test too difficult? Now you will learn what it means to take the test of fire. I will answer no more of your questions. Another reason is... There's only one other... One other fire mage that actually undertook the, the way of fire, which is Serpentus which is the one who resummoned the golem. He also destroyed it with, uh, you know, with the hammer of Enos. The first one was King Robar, Holy Robar, you know, that took down the undefeatable sentinel with one swing of his hammer, the hammer of Enos. Spentus followed that, and now will I as well. I'm ready to face your test, Master. I'm not surprised that you know the old law, but I suspect that you do not realize what risk you are taking. Bear in mind that an impatient spirit will not withstand the test of fire. It has been a long time since anyone took this test, and there is only one man who ever survived it and passed. A young, ambitious novice, then, he has long since found his place in the High Council. I speak of Serpentus. He won't be the only one who ever passed that test for much longer. Then I shall not keep you waiting any longer. Hear my test for you. Create a fire arrow rune. That is all. May Enos help you.
Now, the trial of Enos is relatively easy, although it's going to be hard for me to explain without the map of the shrines, but I know where to go, you know, that's not a problem. However, if you do have the map of shrines, I could get it, you know, yeah, let me get it. We'll get it in the city. Hey. Have you really demanded the test of fire? Yes, and I intend to pass it. Good. Maybe I can help you with it. I can give you a very useful spell scroll. A sleep spell. Interested? I'd have gone about it differently. What can I do with it? With this spell, you can put people into a magic sleep for a short time. But only if their will is weaker than yours. That could be very useful if someone is standing in your way. And how do I know whether the other person that. has a weaker will? You needn't bother trying it with the magicians. But you could put most of the novices to sleep. That's all just gossip. What do you want for it? Every it's magician who is accepted gets one wish. And if you really it's pass the time. test of fire, then you could fix it so really that think? I can stay in the monastery. Justice will prevail in the end. Now, since I need the spell scroll, I will take it. But I will not give him it's not his what I reward. Heard. At least, maybe. All right, give me the spell scroll. Good luck in there. your test. May Innes help you. I'm not telling you anything. But he knows. You know, he knows that I need the sleep spell in order to get that. the guardian of the hammer into sleep, steal the hammer, and kill the stone sentinel. That's what he read in the book, most probably. Really true. Better watch out who you tell that to. It's a bad business. That's totally obvious. Nothing surprises me. Which is one. Thing that is against Enos. But I have no other choice. I have to get no, the hammer in order to defeat the stone sentinel. Will have to pay for but I will not go to the you know the city of Corinus. I will uh, explain you know how to see where to go if you have the map of shrines. But basically, you know, you have the no, first shrine. Somewhere in near, between, near Lobot's farm, and we we'll go all the way to the end. Himself. You know, near the Black Troll, which really eventually think? will stop. If you want to find easily the location which you seek, follow That's the shrines. Follow all the shrines of the North, and will, will learn anything lead them. you relatively close to the, the Black Troll. You know. I can't really show it with my map, you know, due to the fact that I can't use my arrows or my I mouse, you know, in order to point it. where it is. But you will see he in a bit. Thought of that himself. Because I do know the way. Nobody ever asks. Do you know the way? I could swim, you know, but I do want to get some uh, critters along the way, the more the better, as well as the fact that I will let one of the novices follow me to my end destination, to see how that will spice things up, if you will. Well, technically speaking, Enos was the first. Enos was the first human being that understood the ancient form of magic. However, the only thing that he could understand was the arts of fire. Or, well, yeah, 
wanted to only to understand the art of fire, but at some point while the fire, you know, guild or the Magicians of Fire's guild was expanding, more and people, more and more pilgrims joined, some with the lust of power, thus eventually, you know, used the black arts towards their advantage. <laughs> Some, you know, just went to the black arts of magic, just like Zardes, um, which was the first one to uh, learn the black arts of magic, not in order to wield its power, but to understand it. And keep in mind that uh, even if you do, let, let's say, you know, in the real world, magic exists, and you have people that can summon the undead. They can use it for evil, you know, slitter, slaughtering innocent people, or they can use it for good, which means summoning the dead, raising the dead, however you want to call it, or look at it, and protect the living. You can also use it that way, you know. It's not the god that is evil, nor good, it's those that wield its power in its name. Sleeper was evil, and was a creation of Baliar. But it's not really a creation of Baliar, it's more like an alien race, if you will. You know, same with the dragons, ancient beings. Can't rely on that. Except for the undead one, which is, uh, no resummon one, himself. if you will, you know, by black magic. That's the truth. Mm, I want to do something here, I but I don't know anymore. That was no big deal. Um, oh, you're right. The fire. The trial of fire. I want to get Gro Dragomir's crossbow. And uh, not sell it this time, which happens a whole lot. It has happened. Enos has chosen me, and I shall take part in the test of magic. I'm in it too. I demanded the test of fire. You did what? So either you are a favorite of Enos, or completely crazy. I've already done a lot of crazy things, so I'm positive I can pull this off too. Enos holds his hand over me. Therefore, I shall pass this test. Have you seen Aegon or Ulf? We split up at the inn. I went to the farms, and those two set out together. But where to? I don't know. And? Found out anything yet? Since you stand no chance anyway, I may as well tell you. Don't bother looking near the farms. There is nothing there that will get you anywhere. Maybe we could work together. Forget it. I'll accomplish this mission alone. You would just be a hindrance to me. Ha! A hindrance to you. Do you know anything about a living rock? <laughs> no! Did Serpentes give you this test? Yes. Why? I think I can imagine what he means. You wouldn't be the first person to fail this test. Where exactly can I find this living rock? Just keep following this path. After quite a while, you'll come to a river. Just continue to follow the path up the mountain. It's got to be up there someplace. When you come to a bridge, you've gone too far. <laughs> if you get that far in the first place. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> it's supposed to be your test after all. I've already completed it, my man. In the mind. I'm not that dumb. I know exactly what that trial meant. That's why legends exist. There's always legends that have truths mixed with falseness. 
the digital course of time and through mouth, 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 you know. Over thousands of people. I know nothing about picking locks. The little details change to make things a bit more interesting or, you know. But there is always true to legends and myths. Not always 100%, but even if it's 1%. Traveling it's so far from home, out here you have to be careful, especially when you're all by yourself. What are you doing out here? Well, the tavern is too expensive for me. That's why I settled here. The previous inhabitants don't seem to need it anymore. Who used to live in this camp? No idea. Probably some hunters. I suppose it got too dangerous for them out here. Isn't it too dangerous out here? Well, not if you can defend yourself. My crossbow has already proven to be of service many times. It's not all that big. But deadly, if you know how to handle it. I used to have a bigger one. Unfortunately, I lost it. I ventured too far north into the mountains. There's a big stone circle there with a sacrificial altar. While I was hunting scavengers up there, these vile undead beings came out of the woods and attacked me. All I could do was run for my life. While I was running, the crossbow slipped from my hand. I bet it's still lying up there by that strange stone circle in the north. Can you teach me something? If you can pay. Like I said, at the moment I'm a bit strapped for cash. How much do you want? 150 gold pieces. Here's your gold. Good. As far as I'm concerned, we can begin immediately. Don't need crossbow training, but enjoy the gold. Because gold isn't everything. Not wait to get my magic because it's man oh man. I miss more arrows than I actually hit. Nothing to be had there. Let me loot these little buggers. Get the stuff at the shrine. Now, if you're gonna exactly follow my playthrough, make sure, you know, to uh, keep the dagger meat, especially if you're gonna become an apprentice with uh, Constantino the Alchemist, because uh, you need the dagger meat and the dark mushrooms in order to get gold, however, I highly recommend that you consume the dark mushrooms, also known as murky mushrooms, for permanent mana after consuming a certain amount. However, the digger meats doesn't do anything, so you can sell those to Constantino, but uh, it's not going to be that way profiting, you know. But you gotta have some bit of uniqueness, you know, if you're gonna do multiple paths in one and the same game, and uh, 
different apprenticeships is one of those reasons, or one of those ways. resurrect myself and I do keep track of the deaths if the game allows it. Games like Gothic 3 you know are a bit harder to track the deaths but that's why I make timestamps and when they're not there yet they will eventually come you know but uh, making those timestamps requires a lot of time which I could also invest into recording and creating content. <coughs> one of the reasons why I want to, you know, should I ever make it, pay people to do the timestamps for me, so that the timestamps are there for my community, all of my community, as well as people getting paid for it, you know, in order to do something fun, or, you know, get, just adds a bit of money to that Nothing to be had there. Or use it to, Nothing to be had there. Know, increase their Nothing own to be channel. had there. There are multiple reasons why people might, you know, want to make timestamps and, uh, you know, it will allow me to focus fully on playing games, streaming games, recording games, uploading games, as many as possible, you know, instead of having to do recording the games. Uploading the games, making nothing to be had there. You no know, game tags, description, etc. And rewatch them eventually, whether it's instantly or afterwards. You know, rewatch them, make the timestamps. All in all, it requires a lot of time. You know, too much, and uh, it would be great if I would be able to you know, release a bit of the burn and uh, invest into the community, you know, my community, community of any kind, as well as if I earn quite a bit, I'm gonna, you know, whether YouTube or Google will like it or not, I'm gonna invest into smaller channels, first starting with gaming in particular, and then maybe at some point expand to other platforms as well, you know, but should I ever become big I'm gonna invest into smaller channels that are willing to work a lot, you know, for minimum pay. Because uh, doing a job is not doing it for wealth and to be, lu to be able to live a luxurious life, you know. I don't want to become as rich as PewDiePie, for example, you know, and earn millions a year, would be great, don't get me wrong. Nothing to be had there. But the more money you have, and the less, and the more money you spend on yourself, the more that you want, the more that you will buy, the hap you know, the more unsatisfied you become with the little things, you know. <coughs> And, you know, the thing is that there are a lot of people out there, a lot of gamers in particular, that are relatively good, you know. Whether you're a glitcher, whether you're without glitching, 
any kind, you know, beat games 100%, hardcore runs, speed runs, whatever. There are many different ways in where people stand out, world records, etc. You know, and it would be great if uh, the community of YouTube, those that are big, you know, would invest into smaller channels in order to make it possible for smaller channels to earn a bit, you know. Because uh, doing this for literally nothing is uh, kind of tough, you know. Due to circumstances, I'm a bit on the lucky side, basically, you know, with the government's paycheck, although I got it due to the fact of my mother's and my father's death, you know. Okay. Nothing to plunder. But in somewhat we I'm unlucky, you know, that I got government paycheck, however, it's not that I'm happy to be receiving government paycheck, however, I do want to be able to, you know, say what I want to do with my life and just do it. If I want to sit behind a chair all day behind a PC or whatever and upload video games for people to enjoy you know, content, gameplay content, um, then that's my call, that's my decision, and, you know, it could be that I will never earn anything whatsoever through my YouTube, but, you know, if that is the way that it is, then so shall it be, you know, because, of course, I want to get paycheck out of it eventually, you know. But, I cannot become too greedy and say, you know, let, let's say I have enough people and earn 500 euros a month. I'd rather have a job, you know, that I like, like playing games for a living and get 500 euros a month. And, you know, well, let's say a thousand, you know, minimum thousand. Wh which makes it pretty hard to get around each month, you know. 500 is like nearly impossible, especially with all the bills, etc. that we need to pay as citizens. So let's say a thousand, you know. I'd rather have a job that pays a thousand for 120 hours of work. In my case, sometimes more, sometimes less when it comes to YouTube, you know. Um, and get paid 1,000 euro a month, then work 40 hours a week with one of a random factory for 1800 euros a month. I'd rather lose, earn less and work more and get the job that I want than work less and get paid more or not be able to, you know, build on my own future basically. Because that's how society currently works. We have to work because we need to eat but yet work grows smaller and smaller and smaller through the course of time and then you get immigrants you know that take jobs for lesser money which is all fine don't you know don't get me wrong on that one but you know economics will weaken and weaken and weaken things are being replaced with robotics that will lose people jobs which means less income more people in poverty we have the internet you know, create potential jobs into that, not to make people wealthy, but, you know, just to give people opportunities in order to get money, you know. Whether it's a lot of money or a little amount of money, that's not for the government to decide, that's for the viewer to decide. If a viewer, a subscriber, you know, a guy subscribed to your channel and literally watch every single video, he or she, you know, watch every single video. You can better have that one person and have 100 people on your channel that are subscribed and only watch one video and then are like, nah, you know, enough for today. Better have one person that is fully, you know, watching all the videos, enjoying it to the fullest than having 100 that are, you know, are enjoying it but not as much. Hey, do you know what happened? You've been chosen. Right. Just as I was about to have a cool sip of beer, Darren comes around the corner and tells me I've been chosen. Who would have thought? 
The will of Innos is unfathomable. What brings you here? I've demanded the test of fire. It's not possible. Boy, you are damn brave. Does that mean you will also seek that which the believer finds behind the path? Looks like it. Have you found out anything yet? Well, I just followed Aegon, but in the meantime, I lost him. And now, what do they say? Follow the signs of Innos. But I don't understand that bit with the path. So what? I'll keep searching. Follow the path of Innos. The shrine of Innos, my friend. It will follow you, you know, a uh, land follow. Oh no, you're not following me, I understand. <laughs> Quite old. There's another one of those idiot. scummy beasts. One less monster around. Oh, you see it all the time, you know, the rich get corrupted and they get greedier and greedier and greedier. There's another one of those scummy beasts. And they grow wealthier and wealthier, yet they are, you know, yet they are unhappy. How? You got everything that you need in life, you know, how can you be unhappy? One less monster around. Don't get adjusted to materials, you know. People like to attend, you know, and waste lots of money on jewelry and on cars and on houses and whatnot. Fuck that shit. Waste the money on life, you know. Give be if you are so fucking wealthy, and you are so fucking rich. There's another one of those scummy beasts. Supply your family for generations, basically. In some people's case. One less monster around. And, and instead of, you know, securing two, three generations in, in, in your family, you give them everything that they want, because if you give the child everything that he wants, he, he becomes, you know, how to say it, um... What, what's There's good another word one of those scummy it? beasts. Spoiled. I, I think spoiled is a beautiful word for it. <coughs> what are you trying to attack? But they get spoiled, you know. So why waste and, you know, get generation after generation and you know have so much money they can literally buy everything that you want when you want ASAP you know if you want it now you can do it now one less monster around and you know of course I understand that life is expensive but you know what I also don't understand is why do people buy mega villas, you know, with uh, five bedrooms and five bathrooms and whatnot, you know, when they live alone or with a companion, you know, what? come on, what's the point? <laughs> Destroy that villa and create more, more houses in one region, you know. Fuck the villainous, F fuck all that shit. Well, the first thing that people do when, when when they're wealthy, you know, is purchasing a house, a car, and then, and then they, are, they are like, hmm, I've got this car now for like a month, hmm, I, I want a new edition, you know, of this car, or a year, two years, and they purchase that, and then next, and they want more, a never ending circle of greed. We are greedy buggers, oof. There's another one of those scummy beasts. One less monster around.
One second, guys. But we, you know, we as a society, as a species, have one thing that is going to be the end of us all if we keep on going like this. That well, there's actually multiple things, you know, the group, the how shall I say, the will to to control, the will, you know, the will. To there's control another power. one of those scummy beasts. Well done! One dirty beast less! Greed for money is another. A selfishness is another. Because uh, the more we have, the more we want, apparently. You know, and I do agree with that one, personally. Even though I'm not wealthy myself. There's another one of those scummy beasts. Yeah, I'm, I'm not rich at all, you know. Even though I am rich in life. One less monster around. I mean, I may not be wealthy in, you know, money on my bank account, but uh, I do live the life that I want to live, and uh, you know that's all I want basically. I just want to do my thing and boost mankind in any way that I can. Nothing there. I'm not gonna do this for me, myself. I will do it for myself, as well as for mankind. But, when all said and done, it's easier said than done. But, uh, I will prove my worth. It should. Should. Whether the gods or my community, the community of mankind, let them decide whether I shall be worthy of giving it a shot or not. But I will promise you that once I do earn way too much, like let's say I earn 50k a month, which is a whole lot, I only want about, you know, if I would be able to earn 5k a month, Holy fucking shit, man, that would be, that would be something, you know, more, nah, not really needed, because like I said, the more money you have, the more you want, so I'm not gonna be too greedy even if I would earn millions, you know, and uh, whatever is the remaining amount of money, I will create a company out of the ashes and uh, pay people to do YouTube pay people to play games even if they do not get paid by it through YouTube or Google and once they do they don't need me anymore and they can stand on their own feet and I help some people along the way you know and then it's up to them whether to repay me or you know pay me back more or not pay at all you know so entirely up to for you to decide however would be nice if you at least would repay what I paid, you know, so let's say I'm big in YouTuber and I pay you to do YouTube and you earn let's say 2k a month and it took you five years to you know become big on YouTube <laughs> 2k a month 12 months a year so that's uh 2k right yeah 24k a year so you are too late. I was here first. I have won. You are interrupting me, goddammit. Congratulations, you really deserved it. What does that mean? What are you planning? What are you talking about? You all want to dispute right. my victory. You want to kill me and take all the glory for yourself. 
you will never succeed. So, we meet again. I've been thinking, you know. I believe that the desire to be a magician is strong in me. Oh, man. Don't do that. I have no choice. A novice's life is not for me. I just have to be a magician. Then everything will go well with me. And now I shall take what I'm entitled to. Do you have any last words? Cut it out. I don't want to kill you. Big talk. But you know you don't have a chance against me. Let's go. years that I have invested into you, you know, should I, you know, pay you 2k a month for five years in order for you to become big enough to get paid out of it. And, you know, which is a lot of money. And you can, you can pay it back whenever you want, you know, whether you pay it in, in one go, you know, whether you pay it in smaller amounts, doesn't matter. Because, you know, should I invest in and you would pay me back what I invested into you. So let's say, you know, I invested 120,000 over the course of, you know, five years, which is 120,000 down the drain for me, basically, you know. The only thing that I do is making sure that you, the person that I'm investing into, has enough money to sustain all life, to clothe themselves, to eat, to pay their bills, get a roof ball to add, etc. You know, to get the basics of life, basically. <laughs> Holy shit, that damage. But anyways, you know, I invested 120,000 in you, and you became big. Then, you know, if you would pay me back that 120,000, whether you paid back in one year, two years, ten years, doesn't matter, you know. If you paid back, then I can use that money to go from one person into two persons, to say, okay, this is what I've got back, you know, and then the only thing that I have to reinvest into is 50% of my cash next to the cash that I got back, you know. to be had there. Where's my weapon? Did it go through the wall? Really? I guess so. But anyways, you know, I invested 120,000, and with that money, if I get it back, you know, I can invest into someone else for five years without problems, without the need to invest my own money, you know, and thus I can go from one person to two, two to four, from four to eight, from eight to sixteen, 
and in the meanwhile those that did become big I'm gonna you know make sure that they want to follow those footsteps reinvest into the community and get uh, all the, of all those people in the community get those out of there that wants to do this as a serious living you know because trust me doing YouTube is not as easy nothing there as m many people think you know most people think oh you're just playing games true you know but there, there's more than just playing games you know there's more to it it's pretty hard to how shall I say to keep the attention of nothing the there community you know but what I eventually want is more people to have this opportunity you know not because it's a uh, wealthy and not because you know even if even if you would open this for everyone everyone on the globe not everyone is gonna do this the only people that are gonna, gonna do this um, YouTube, Twitch, are those that actually do want to do it, you know, whether you're a YouTuber, oh, I already picked up my, uh, ace, ace I don't think I can handle them. Whether you have one channel that has millions and millions of views and, and get more cash, you know, or millions of channels, Google and YouTube will still earn the same amount through each channel, you know, I'm just saying. four or five so including the one that I already had you know um, which was the one with the two crawlers so let's say uh, six I think that's harmless should it be more you know the timestamps will eventually tell the honest truth nothing to be had there but uh, you know I, I basically want to make YouTube open for those at least those that want it like I said, you know, even if you would open it for all, not everyone wants to sit behind a chair, behind a computer all day, and upload videos, whether you're uploading your vlogs, or YouTube videos in gameplay, or, you know, karaoke stuff, or whatever, you know. Not everyone would want to do that. And even if you had millions and millions of channels, you know, the community only decides who and who not is getting paid. However, to be had there, there is a lot of potential out there that are unseen or are simply not doing it due to the fact that they, it, you know, to them it seems impossible to get to a certain amount of views. And it is impossible if you don't do anything about it, you know. I do that I do play these games, you know. Not because I think I'm going to be PewDiePie massive, but I know that I have the potential of getting a rather, you know, livable paycheck through this eventually, you know.
maybe it will take five years, maybe it will take ten years, maybe never at all. Well, I want to try or die trying. Because you know I can uh, try to get my life all settled and whatnot. But even if you do have a job, it doesn't mean that you won't be able to get that to keep that job for the rest of your life, you know. A lot of things can happen between now and death, you know. Depending on each person, every day we live on a daily basis. Not on a yearly basis, not on you know, a decade, but on daily. Well, you know, I'm I'm rambling again on YouTube and whatnot. Future plans, who are you know again easily said than actually done. But, um, I'm not gonna break my honor, you know, I'm not gonna break my word, should I ever earn way more than I should. Whether it's 1k more than I should, or 2k more than I should, or 3, 4, etc. You know, then, uh, I'm gonna change things a bit. Even if it means spending my own money and living a less luxurious life. You know, fuck luxury life. Fuck that shit. You know what we should say as a species? Fuck poverty. You know, poverty doesn't exist. Sadly, at the current moment it does. But, uh, if we want to get rid of that, then we have to say goodbye to greed. The greed for power, the greed for wealth, and the greed for selfishness. which not many people succeed in, sadly. And you know, it could be that my view would be changed through the course of time. However, I doubt it, you know. Um, because uh, I know what's it, what, what's it like, you know, to live yeah, on, on, on the edge of more too little to live on, too much to die, you know. I've been scammed here and there, including by the governments. Uh, well, governments, government, you know, but, um, these things happen in life, you know. I make stupid decisions, which ended me in debt. That's my, you know, that was my mistake, and I have to pay the price for it. But that will not change the fact that I rather have a job that I enjoy doing and pop more hours into it and earn less than have a job that I dis despise doing, you know, dislike at all. But get paid more for it, you know. But we will see, time will tell. Time will tell whether the community, mankind, will deem me worthy or not. The only reason why I say these things, you know, to remind myself over and over and over again to not fall into greed no matter what happens. Because I'm pretty sure the day will come where I will get that beautiful silver YouTube button. Perhaps even the golden one, you know, perhaps even the platinum one, who knows. But the silver one I know that I can make that happen, but I also know that I cannot make that happen without the community. And uh, whatever it takes to gain community, whatever it takes to keep the community, but within my own terms, you 
know, because uh, it is my channel. Because here's the thing, you know. Let's say I will eventually play full fun Minecraft, you know. Pretty fun game to play, whoopty fucking do. It's not really one of my favorite games to play, but hey, it still could be a, f a fun multiplayer games or, you know, a fun game in general. And I upload that to YouTube. I get millions of thousands of subscribers, you know, through Minecraft alone. All these thousands of people will complain constantly. I want Minecraft videos. I want Minecraft videos. Every day, every day I want some Minecraft videos. I don't want to be forced to play Minecraft every single day, you know. I don't want to make that happen. What I want is to be able to play whatever game I want to play. I just upload it on YouTube, you know. If the game has one path, the game has one path. If the game has multiple paths and the game is Nash, you know, then uh, I will do all possible paths. Well, at least I don't have to kill this guy. But well, let's get this episode over with and let's oh damn hiccups. Join the ranks of the fire magicians. But time will tell, you know. Only time will tell. Now the last part, let me get, wait, maybe I get, get a fire arrow for free from, uh, high guard. Hey! I have demanded the test of fire. Ulthar gave me the task to create a fire arrow rune. Now you want me to teach you the formula? I don't know how else I could do it. Hmm. All right, I'll teach you the formula. But first, you need to find all the necessary ingredients. What ingredients do I need for a fire arrow rune? Read up on it. It's right there in the books. The first circle of magic. Lights, fire. Oh, Enos. Heal is actually also in Enos, um, especially in Gothic 3. But, you know, I see it, especially in Gothic 1 and 2, as a neutral capability. However, that is a Belliard Servant, I will not get it. Um, since it's technically speaking Enos, you know, but, uh, Light, Fire, and Healing, Enos. Goblin Skeleton is a Belliard, although Goblin itself is Adenos, and uh, Small Lightning is also Belliard. I need Fire Arrow and Soul. I have sulfur. I don't have fire arrow though. No, that's ice arrow. Right, so let me quickly get fire arrow. Three bottles of wine, guys. Never say no to that. And no one notice. I need a few things. 
Thank you. Hey. I want to be... No. About the library. You lucky duck. You got the key to the library, even though you've only been here for a short while. Use your chance and study the old scriptures. Hey, you! Teach me to create the fire arrow rune. In order to create a fire arrow rune, you'll need to join the sulfur with the rune stone at the rune table. The power of the fire arrow, spell scroll, will flow into the rune, and you will possess a tool of Enos. So, once you have all the raw materials, walk over to the rune table and create your rune. Although I will not use it, I will instantly sell it. Well, that's because I'm not allowed, personally challenged, to uh, use any kind of runes from the other gods. Except for the one that I joined, decided to choose, you know, well, decided to join. Alright, so that one is done, so let me complete the trials. Hey! I heard that you passed the test of fire. In all humidity, I can tell you this. Everyone else who has attempted this is dead. You really should not attempt to take this test. Your spirit is weak. Better to serve in the monastery, and perhaps you will be chosen in a few years. I am going to pass the test. If it is the will of Inos, then you shall. But if not, then you will fail. I have defeated the golem. What? You have actually done it? But without the hammer of Inos, you would never have been able to destroy the golem. Nevertheless, I must admit that you have fulfilled the task I have given you. And I had best take the hammer myself. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Dismissed. You know what you have to do. I have created the rune. Well done, novice. You shall keep this, your first rune. Once you have reached the first circle of fire, you will be able to use it. You have fulfilled this test to my satisfaction. Any news? No. Nothing which you do not already know, brother. I found the rune stone. You did it? You followed the signs and discovered the hidden portal? And I defeated all those monsters who had already marked me down as a snack. And the other novices then? What about Aegon? Did they not succeed before you? They have failed. I suppose they weren't destined to pass the test. Well, then we declare that you have passed this test, and the runestone shall be yours to keep. Will I be accepted into the Magician's Guild now? You did it. You have passed the test of fire. We were certain all along that you would succeed in doing this. Just as certain as we are that you will continue to give your best to become a worthy servant of Enos. So, if you are ready to swear the oath of fire, you shall be accepted into our ranks as a magician. I am ready to step into the circle of fire. Right. Then swear the sacred oath of fire. Do you swear before Lord Enos the Almighty, his servants and the Holy Flame? that henceforth and forever your very life shall be united with the fire until your body and soul find rest in its sacred halls and the flame of your life dies away. I swear. By speaking the words of the oath, you have entered the pact with the fire. Wear this robe as a token of the eternal bond. 
Now that you have been accepted into our ranks, you can talk to Lord Hagen, the High Commander of the Paladins. We are also very interested to hear how he assesses the situation. So, you are free now to go to Corinis. We expect you to bring us his answer immediately. But of course. What can I learn now? First of all, you are now entitled to learn about the circles of magic. They will give you the power to use the runes. The higher you rise through the six circles of magic, the stronger the spells become that you can work. You can learn the formulas from the brothers in the monastery. Each of them has specialized in a certain area which he will teach you. Karas, for example, is a master of invocation and summoning. And Hyglas will teach you the magic of fire. Nobody knows more about the powers of ice and thunder than Marduk. Parlin can teach you various other incantations, and he will initiate you into the first circles. But each of them will only teach you the formula. The runes you will have to create for yourself. I'd like to express a wish. After he has been accepted, each magician has the right to his first act. So, what will your first act as a magician be, hmm? Which one shall I get? Now, Darien did give me the sleeping spell, but he did steal. Apollos is a sheep, ha sheeper, shepherd. God damn it! <laughs> but um, I think the best one would be for the monastery to have a new gun. Let the novice Babo be head of the monastery gardens. So be it. Effective immediately, the novice Babo will be in charge of the monastery gardens. Let's see what happens. Ooh, Enos is mad. Oh, he, he got actually exiled, hey? Too bad for him. <laughs> oh, damn it. Teach me. At the moment, I cannot teach you. What? Oh, perhaps I do need the ingredients. What's wrong? Let's see what the ingredients are for lightning. Rock crystal and small lightning. Okay. Hey! You can teach me fire. I don't need to know fire. I do need to know black magic. Hey, you! Teach me. For the moment, there is. Oh. I still have to enter the first circle. Yep. Okay. Touché. You have sworn your oath, brother. Welcome to our ranks. I will instruct you in the circles of magic when you have enough experience. Take this rune stone as a token that the power now lies in your hands. Teach me the first circle of magic. The first circle of magic allows you to use the runes which you have created. You can now learn the formulas of the spells to create your own runes. Each of us specializes in an area of magic. So consider well what sort of magic yours shall be. Oh, I already know. Teach me the second circle of magic. The time has not yet come. Teach me. Lightning. Teach me. We got a small lightning spell scroll, and then we're 
basically done there. Almost. How are you? I thank the magicians for my task. I enjoy working in the garden and hope the magicians are satisfied with me, Master. Master. That's a bit exaggerated. I need a new place to sleep. There's a free chamber on the right here. Take the key. You'll find everything you need there. I need a few things. Sell a bit again. You gotta love gothic spugginess. Oh, I don't wanna. It's not mine. Good. Oof. I will get some new ones though. I think. Now the button was stuck again, which happens a lot. Not my personal button, you know, with my mouse, but uh, in-game. Which ha will happen quite frequently, I believe. At least, it does for me. Fire rain don't need that. He'll have your wounds up. Could have. Uh, fuck it. Ice arrow don't need. Ice block don't need. Fireball don't need. Just a bit. <laughs> Otherwise, I will be naming all the spell scrolls that I don't need. Lightning room, the first room, the path for it. Oh, barely are. Hey, you! Can I learn from you? I shall instruct you in the secrets of alchemy. If I don't have enough. Could you brew me a potion? Do you doubt my abilities? I can brew any potion! Fine. Not so fast. Naturally, you must bring me the ingredients and pay a small fee for expenses, as well as for the materials. How much do you ask? For the brewing itself, I charge ten gold pieces. None of which I need. I need permanent potions. God damn it. Oh well. That's uh... 20 learning points for one-handed sword fighting. 
Let me check when we'll my to the wrong people. circle medical capabilities come in. I think that? the second circle didn't have any better capabilities, but we'll see. Solomon Wolf. Mm. Can't remember that being in Gothic 3. Um, so I would consider the wolf is a creature of Adenors. I would consider that one as Adenors. Uh, Sleep was also Adenors in Gothic 3, so I can't take that one either. What about Circle 3? Create skeleton fear. I will get fear for free, so I don't have to make that one. And ball lightning. So circle three is where I can learn two new runes. It's a bad but anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to thumbs it up. And uh, if you did like what you see, uh, subscribe to your chat to my channel. <laughs> if you haven't uh, subscribed already, and uh, if you do, hit the notification bell so you will be quite sure that you will get notifications as soon as I upload videos. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time where we're gonna go to Lord Hagen and uh, enter chapter two. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.